Our today's topic is two-factor theory. It is also called motivation hygiene theory. This theory says that there are some factors, motivating factors, that cause job satisfaction, and motivation and some other also separated factors, hygiene factors, cause dissatisfaction. That means that these feelings are not opposite of each other, as it has always previously been believed. Opposite of satisfaction is not dissatisfaction, but rather, no satisfaction. According to Herzberg, 1987, the job satisfiers deal with the factors involved in doing the job, whereas the job dissatisfiers deal with the factors which define the job context. If the hygiene factors, for example salary, working conditions, work environment, safety and security are unsuitable, low level, at the workplace, this can make individuals unhappy, dissatisfied with their job. Motivating factors, on the other hand, can increase job satisfaction, and motivation is based on an individual's need for personal growth. If these elements are effective, then they can motivate an individual to achieve above average performance and effort. For example, having responsibility or achievement can cause satisfaction, human characteristics, Darty Ba, 2011. Hygiene factors are needed to ensure that an employee is not dissatisfied. Motivation factors are needed to ensure employee satisfaction and to motivate an employee to higher performance. Can we motivate with money, with higher salary? What did Herzberg and Maslow say? Is it just the same or something different? Herzberg addressed salary not a motivator in the way that the primary motivators are, just like achievement and recognition. Salary can be a motivator, if you get always higher and higher salary, but we cannot say that it is an incentive. Maslow said, money or salary is needed to buy food to eat, to have some place to live and sleep, etc. It can be a physiological need. Limitations of this theory, this theory oversees situational variables. Herzberg supposed a correlation, linear between productivity, performance and satisfaction. The theory's reliability is uncertain. No comprehensive measure of satisfaction was used. The theory ignores blue-collar workers, only white-collar men's opinion was discussed. However, Herzberg tried to bring more humanity and caring into company's life. His intention was not to develop a theory that is used as a motivational tool, but to provide a guidance to improve organizational performance. There are some critics for all need theories. Although, there is a consensus for the general concept, human behavior is motivated by the strong wish for fulfilling a human need. Critics are, universality, they do not care about gender, age, culture, religious or other factor differences. Research support and methodology problems, these theories were not based on reliable and creditable research results. Work focus, individuals have needs only at their workplaces, but not at any other places of their life. Individual differences and stability over time.